Hello friends. In the last video, we built this counter application using Hive. In this video, we are going to continue the previous video. Uh, we will build the same application using stateless widget. So currently, we have this application using stateful widget. So if you have not watched my previous video, I will highly suggest you to watch it first. It will help you a lot in continuing this video. So I will paste the same UI code, the scaffold app bar with body and a floating button, which I wrote in previous tutorial or video. Okay, so I have two errors. So let's fix uh, error one by one. So I will create increment action first of all. And the next one is a counter error. So the counter variable is not defined. So earlier we were having stateful. So we defined the variable and we were updating. In this case, we will not do that. Instead, we will use something else, which is value listenable builder. So here in the builder, we provide the UI. So this is the UI, which is text. Value listenable builder takes one thing, which is value listenable. So it listens to one of the value. And whenever that value changes, it rebuild, or you can say it uh, build the builder again. So we want to listen to the hive. So in the hive, we will listen to a box called tutorial. And after that, I will type dot and listenable. So now it will return a listenable. And using this, uh, we can listen to the box. So whenever that box will have any change, it will run the builder again and it will have the latest value so in the builder i will say counter equals to box dot get and in the get i will tell the key if you remember hive works on key value pair so here i tell the key and when i tell counter home it says null which means there is something mistake so it should be home counter okay so in the previous video we were having home counter so now it's fine one more thing if you remember when we do get in the box it returns in question mark which means it can be null also so i will come here and give a default value for the null case awesome so now we are able to get the value but we want to see that when we click on increment button it should increment the number so let's try that so for that first of all we will get the box using hive dot box awesome once we get the box moving forward we will try to get the value from the box so the counter will have the current value now current value basically means the value which is stored in the box so i will instead of final i will make it int so that i can do make the modification to the counter variable okay so now we got the variable we increment that value and once we increment the value so currently the value has been increment and stored in the function itself it is not outside of the function so we stored in the box so now the box get updated here in the box i put the value home counter the key and the value the latest value which is increment y1 so now whenever we are updating this box the value listenable is listening to this value which means whenever something is changed it rebuild it which means the builder is running again nothing more only the builder part so this is how we can do it using stateless. Now I will make a little minor change, which is a good practice. So in every video, I try to give you some good practice, which will help you in becoming a good developer every day. So first one is instead of having this string, uh, you can say the box or the value uh, or the key uh, hard coded, you should store them in a variable and you should use the variable here in this way. Tomorrow, if we uh, make a decision that we want to update the like the box name, we can update at one place and it will update on the every place. If I decided to update the key name, I will update at one place and it will be reflected on all the references where the variable is being used. You see, so now everything is totally depend dependent on the variable because we are having the value stored in the variable and we are referencing them wherever we need it so i think that's it for this video if you face any problem let me know if i can help you i will love to help you see you in the next video